Look, I, I really think you are deal really nice in a nice way with the situation. I, I, I was not that often in a similar situation, but I watch football longer than I'm a manager, and I'm, I, I know exactly how it always works when things don't go well. There are a couple of things everybody can. There's a list of things what you go through. And one of the things is the team is not listening to the coach anymore. So he, I, in Germany, we say that the manager doesn't reach the team anymore. Um, I, so I, I understand that it looks sometimes like this. It's just not the case. So it's, we, we, you can take that off the list. Um, but um, anyhow, it's very important that we change that immediately. So it's, it's, for the last three, the last two games now, I spoke about that we that we don't win challenges, so battles, whatever you want to tackles, however you want to call it. Often enough, we have moments where we win them. We had moments in Brighton where we won the ball high up and 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 caused them problems. The only problem is then our sec we don't them often win them often enough, and then if we win it, our second problem starts. We give the ball away too easy. So, and that's now in a situation when you win the ball and it's, we are used to being positive then football-wise if we win the ball and now let's make a decision and we overlap or stuff like this in that moment we pass the ball in the feet of the opponent and that's the counter-attack and that's what costs you massively momentum. So next time, so what is the conclusion from 11 different people, one team but different people on the pitch, different conclusions out of that situation. One makes a step less for the counter press. One um, stays, uh, doesn't make the overlap anymore. So now we have the ball and we want to overlap, but we don't. There's nobody anymore because he protects already the next counter attack. Stuff like this. That's that's the the chaos. It's always not. A, it's not. We are not the only team that happened to, and it happens thousands of times. And in, sometimes just one game, and you realize and think, oh, okay. So but I get back to it. So um, because that's again, it's not rocket science. So it's football. Um, and but these things you can you can see you watch it and think oh okay so and that's what we are working on so it's like a little bit will we will, will we be over complicated and over flexible offensively and try to be there and stuff like this and and no look passes or whatever and that's that's not the next step for us obviously so we have to 100 percent and it's like this we have to defend well our counter pressing has to be again on incredible high level um because the best way to defend high up and you have the ball there, no, there is no better way. Um, and that gives us then situation after situation after situation after situation, and then we are there again. And um, yeah, I'm ready for that. Um, and I know the boys will be as well, but uh, that's anyway, obviously not. Uh, but when you hear it's like when you have, uh, when you have uh, whatever. A broken leg or something like that, and everybody wants to hear that. Yeah, it's no problem. You, tomorrow you will it will go again, and then it's like. But uh, unfortunately, you need a couple of weeks or months, sometimes months until you are ready. So nobody wants to hear that, but it's anyway a fact. So and we have to make sure that we make these steps, and we don't get. Um, yeah, we just are ready for making these steps, and then we are. Then we become a team. Um, where the, play, where the other teams are not looking forward to play against again, that would be helpful as well. I was going to say, there was one of the that was saying that um, you must hate the idea of given the fact that you always wanted Liverpool to be the team that nobody wanted to play against. Yes, I hate that. Yes. Yes, I understand that, and I, and I see there's a chance as well, because it's long ago that we could surprise opponents, whatever, because we were just good. Well, like always, for long periods, um, imagine we were playing our really good game. <laughs> it would be really cool. Uh, yeah. So, and we will get there. What when I say? So now in between the 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 the, the Brighton game and the Bulls game, there's obviously now not a lot of practice, so you don't have time for that. But see, yes, last week that's why what what we said when we um, 
when we said uh, I like the training week. To be honest, it was a, it was a good week. But um, there are part there have always parts will be involved. We're going back to basics. Yeah, that doesn't mean I said not back to the ninety hundreds or whatever. So, but it's um, uh, it's absolutely basics. I mean, properly defending. Oh, that's it, and that's always part of training. But yeah, we will intensify that, and um, um, between the game tomorrow and then Saturday, and then depends too if we go through or not. But then we have at least a normal week to train, what we will use and stuff like this. That's of course I'm looking forward to that because we need it. We had we had a super training camp. Huh? It was really good, really good. But since then we lost again key players which were involved in the preseason or hoping for and stuff like this. So it's like okay. So and obviously in hell in very helpful position. So um, it's not to blame anybody playing there because I'm I'm not even close to that. But in fact, there are some players they just if they keep the ball uh, when we when we win it and pass the ball there we have patterns they they were they, they worked and we, we knew how it will work and they are all gone because the, the, the offensive line is completely new. Whoever plays there in the moment is completely new. Most the only one left there if you want. That doesn't make life easier. So we, we like as, as Liverpool and with the things with the things we did, so just to defend. Imagine that, just stand there, and boom, kick the ball out, and wait until they come again. That's not. We cannot do that as well. So we we are a dominant team against Wolves. The other the the the, the last game for the first 22 minutes we were really really good, like really good without scoring, but dominant. Let them run around against a good football team. But we all saw then later on how good they are. But they were in the beginning. We were clear superior, so um, that's the situation. So, and we work now on each little step to get back there. Oh, and yeah, I'm positive. That's it. Yeah, I just want to ask about Diogo. Um, obviously, he's been out for quite a while. I was injured in pre-season as well. How far away is he from a return? And might there be an acceptance that he might not be his best until maybe? Next season now, when he's had a full pre-season? No, no, because Jogo, no, Jogo is extremely football smart. He will be football-wise back here again. So it's like playing the games without playing the games. So um, <sighs> I don't know exactly uh, how long. He looks really good. He's out there on the pitch. He's doing a lot of stuff already. But um, another few weeks. In for the Real Madrid game, possibly. Sorry. In for, for Real Madrid. <laughs> when is that? <laughs> Another month, I guess. From my point of view, yes, but I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, yes. Last one, Paul Joyce. You, you ever heard this theory that he's too loyal? To yeah, players? of course. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. I know what you mean. So I heard that before, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too loyal. I'm loyal. I think everybody should be loyal, but I'm not too loyal. So um, the situation. Oh, the, If, but, but, but a situation at Dortmund, what was there? Where I had what? Have you ever had a situation at another club where a player who was really important to you and then you've decided to then phase him out because you want the team to go in another direction? Yes, that's what the question is, isn't it? It is. The question, but the, the situation is but a little bit, and, and I know. Um, the, the, the problem is too complex. So you only can. You have a, 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 let me say, have a good player who obviously did a lot of good stuff in the past. So that's what we are talking about. Um, and then in your mind, maybe that's it now for him. So if you can then go out and bring another player to replace him, yeah, that makes sense. Both sides, good idea. Come on, it was a great time. See you later. 
yes, if you cannot bring anybody in, you cannot bring anybody out. But that's the situation again. So it's it's about that. And again, I, I that, that's I'm not sure I said it before, but it's an intelligent intelligent question. The only problem is what you all make of the answer. That's the only problem with that. So, um, but I'm not too loyal. So, um, I think at Dortmund was clear when I left that I said something has to change here. It's a different situation, but um, in that we want it's similar. Um, either I go or uh, I, I have the manager position change or or a lot of other things change. Um, so, I put. As far as I'm concerned, as what I hear, if nobody tells me, I will not go. So that means maybe there's a point where we have to change um, other stuff, and um, we will see that. That's a, but that's again something for the future, like future summer, whatever, yeah. and not now. No. So and now we cannot even think about it. Probably we can. I have space and time and whatever to think about it. But we have to play now better football. I cannot play now and say, okay, there's a problem, these are the problems, and but now next season we don't have them anymore. But that's really long. I see you another 40, 50 times until then and have to answer the question. Imagine that we speak always about, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. So uh, you have to speak about this kind of football. Nobody wants to have that. You wouldn't come probably anymore <laughs> after a while. Um, and our people deserve better. And we will. We, the, the, the thing is now, I cannot promise we will fly tomorrow. But I, what I want to promise, we really fight and everybody can see it. Because we fought at Brighton as well, we just couldn't see it. <laughs> because we were not close enough for the, for the key battles. I understand that 100%. I'm not angry. I was angry after the game with me. So, really. It's because I thought, obviously, yeah, that could work like this. That could, and it didn't. So, and then there are two big parts who are responsible for that. And I only know 100% me and the boys, of course, as well. I don't take them out of responsibility until I take all the pressure and all these kind of things. I just think I'm responsible, but that doesn't mean that they are not responsible for specific things. So, and with everything, so with all the things what you do, I really think you should always behave properly and not blame somebody just not to get blamed yourself, to be honest. So, and you can think about, really, I mean it, about me, what you want, as good or as bad. I, I, it's not that I want it, but I don't care. So it's really the only thing I want is to fix this situation. That's all. And with all the things, and some of them, not with the extent, but we're clear that they, that we will have some problems, and that there will be an, a, a, another very important um, period of change, probably. Um, but because the injuries, it's much more than than you could have expected. That's that's a fact as well. So, but nobody is interested in it, and that's fine. Other teams are flying, and you, rightly so. They do extremely well, and that's fine. We were in that position a couple of years ago, or maybe last year, but that's fine. The only things we really have to offer is hard work, and then I really think, and that's that's really great. And it was a, quite a. Sure, touching is the right word, but obviously we have a big community, I think, in Brighton, Liverpool supporters, it felt at least like that. Um, I was super. <laughs> There's a game where the crowd can turn against you, and they didn't. And that's a, as well the basis we have, and we have to work with that. We have to work with that, and we will. We respect that a lot. And not just saying, I mean it. We really respect that a lot. And everybody feels the responsibility. The boys feel the responsibility. There's nobody sitting there and putting it well, I was okay, but he was not nothing. It's not there. But I don't see it. I don't hear it. I know it's not there. If it would be there, then the player would have a real problem. So that's the moment when the problems really start. Until then, we stay together, stick together, and go with all we have. And if we lose, we lose. But then, in a way that we can accept it. So, and not, uh, how could that happen? I, I said Brighton was exceptional, but in moments, it was too easy. It was too easy. So, and that's why I would like to go through and to make it a little bit more difficult and then see again. Thank you, everyone. Welcome.